Hey guys, it's the Solo Clock here, and today in Solo's Monster Legends Guides video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to find a good team for the brand new team race. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so first thing you are going to want to do is join the official Monster Legends Discord server. You can actually join this from inside of the game. All you have to do is click on the chat option on the left and then go to global and then click join. And then you can pick Discord from the list of socials, which is very, very cool. So yeah, and then you'll be brought to this screen right here, which is the rules and information section. And then once you're in this section, I do suggest that you read the rules just so that you don't get kicked from the server because that would really suck if you got kicked. And then once you're done with all of that, go on to the left and go to the team hall section right here. And then you can see a bunch of different options, but you want to go to recruit members, recruit beginners, or recruit experienced. And this is for finding a team to join. So I'm just going to click on recruit members as an example. And then as you can see here, there are a bunch of teams like a lot of teams and what you're going to want to be looking for when looking for a team is of course like some of them have really long messages that's usually a good sign that means that they're dedicated to their team and you can also see a bunch of requirements so this is actually a great example of a team you would want to join and then they also have like what we offer and stuff like that which is very amazing and then you can also go on down here and you can see the team log right here and you can see more rules inside of their description and you can see the activity Keep in mind that activity can only go up to two. It cannot go up to three. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It is bugged. And then once you're done looking at this log right here, you want to go to the war log. Make sure they have a war log on here and you can see how many war coins they get. I'd say at least 100 is pretty active. This one almost doubles that every time, which is really great. And it does look like they're winning, like almost every time, which is amazing. So yeah, keep that in mind too. That is definitely a good sign. And then also look at the race log and make sure they get at least 10 laps. Since 10 laps is, of course, how you get the monsters. So yeah, make sure they get at least 10 laps because that means they're getting the monster. This team doubles it yet again. So of course that is great. So yeah, just when looking in here, make sure that they have requirements, make sure they have rules so that you can read them and not get kicked. Also make sure that they have at least two activity. And then if you go into the game, you can also go and look at all of the people and you can see when they last logged in. That is probably a pretty good idea. And then also make sure to look at the race log and the war log. Both of them are very important. Make sure at least 100 coins on the war log and at least 10 laps on the race log. And yeah, I would probably mainly just look at the last race since the other ones are a little too far away to really matter because the whole team could have changed by then. So yeah, just mainly look at the last race. And that is pretty much all you need to look for in a team. Basically, just look for everything this team has. This team is so perfect. Just look for literally everything this team has and you should be good. So yeah, that is pretty much all you need to know about looking for a team. Just make sure to join the official Monster Legends Discord server, go on to recruit members or recruit beginners or recruit experienced, and then find a team through there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.